Welcome back, guys. This week we are here for you with another true story. Now with Jack, who must have regretted taking the night shift that day. It was the most terrifying encounter of Jack's life with none other than Freddy Fazbear. Jack's Night Shift. It was a cold night in mid-February. Jack was working as a stock boy in a coffee shop. Despite not liking it one bit, he was forced to take a night shift. The night shift was a nightmare at the bistro, so it was no wonder no one was keen to take it. But money is king, and Jack needed money. That night was the harshest, coldest night of the winter. It was so cold that the branches froze to the bone of the trees. All you could hear was the sound of branches breaking in the wind outside. The mournful silence was broken by an icy crackle and the sharp sound of the wind. The bistro was in the middle of nowhere, where no bird goes. The nearest inhabited area was an hour's drive away. This and other old cafes like Jack's were only to be found on the outskirts of the city. The area was abandoned so much that even in the daytime you shivered when you saw it. Jack had to do the job that night because there was an event at the cafe the next day. The preparations for that had to be made. He had been working for hours. The work was terribly monotonous and boring, so it was no wonder Jack's mind was completely blank. Suddenly, the silence was broken by the sound of an old telephone ringing in the cafe. It was like a sudden bolt of lightning out of nowhere, and Jack almost had a heart attack. Just the sound of the old phone ringing was enough to create a blood-freezing mood in the cafe. Nobody liked it. It drove everyone crazy. It was his boss. He said he is on his way. He'd be at the cafe in a few minutes. The weather was so bad. Jack wondered why the boss comes here in the middle of the night. Visibility was around zero. Who gets in the car at this hour? He wondered. He sighed deeply, then got back to work. The blood froze inside him when he noticed the light on the motion detector outside suddenly turned on. He thought that the boss must have arrived. Jack, get a grip on yourself, he said, then went to open the front door. It was interesting because looking out the icy window, he saw no one in the parking lot. He kept staring out the window into the dark twilight. Suddenly, he saw a figure. It was only a moment. He fell into the distance. He waited and continued to scan the darkness. The figure glided closer. Jack summoned all his courage and shouted, Boss, is that you? There was no reply. Jack was puzzled. There was no car in the car park, and it would have been impossible to approach the cafe on foot. It's not possible that's a man. He went back to the storage room. He knew he had a flashlight in case the motion sensors needed to be repaired in the dark. He opened the door. The snow sweeping between his feet in the howling wind. It was cold. Jack shivered. With trembling hands, he searched for the figure with the flashlight. There was no one there. 
When he turned back, he heard a sudden noise. By this time, Jack was overcome with cold and fear. He reached for the flashlight. Suddenly, a pair of glowing eyes looked back at him from the darkness. He tried to reassure himself that it must be a coyote. In the middle of nowhere, that wouldn't be so surprising. But suddenly, the figure reappeared. It was not a coyote, but it wasn't human either. Then what was it? The figure stood in the distance, its glowing eyes fixed on Jack almost piercing Jack's body. Then the rugged figure moved towards him slowly. Jack slammed the door shut and turned the key in the lock. He ran into the storage room and hid among the cleaning supplies. A loud banging, rattling followed. The thing banged on the door so hard that Jack thought the door would tear out of the wall. Then, suddenly, silence. It was over. Not a sound. Jack was so frozen with fear that he dared not move. He cowered into the storage room, hiding until morning until the shift came and one of his colleagues opened the place. He didn't dare tell anyone about the night. He knew they would not believe him and would make fun of him at work. But when he looked at the CCTV footage, he found something shocking. What would you have done in Jack's place? If you want to hear more true stories like this, subscribe and turn on the notifications.